isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Narito ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood ng RHTV. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Bago ang lahat, isang shameless plug muna. Inya, inaanyayahan kayo ng Ballet Manila na manood sa aming espesyal na palabas ngayong buwan ng mga puso. Ang Heart to Heart kasama ang London-based musical group na West End Mamas and Papas. Siyempre, ang Ballet Manila and with the special participation of Yours truly. Ganyan po talaga kaming mga retirado na. Pasayaw-sayaw pa rin pag my time. Heart to heart with Ballet Manila and the West End Mamas and Papas magsisimula ngayong February 21 sa Aliu Theater. Kita-kita po tayo doon. For tickets, you can go to ticketworld.com.ph. Samantala, sa hapong ito, aalamin natin kung paano magpatakbo ng isang matagumpay na art gallery kasama ang founder at artistic director ng longest running commercial gallery ng ating bansa. Samahan ninyo kami sa kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan kasama ang art dealer at gallery owner na si Miss Silvana Ancelotti Diaz ng Galeria Duemila. Ang Galeria Duemila ay itinatag noong December 5, 1975 sa pamamahala ni Silvana Ancelotti Diaz na mula sa Italia. Sa ngayon, ito ang itinuturing na longest-running commercial gallery sa Pilipinas na respetado rin sa ibang bansa. Alinsunod sa layunin nitong makilala ang mga Filipino artists sa buong ASEAN region, naging espesyalidad ng Galeria Duemila ang pagtatanghal ng mga contemporary paintings, sculptures, works on paper, installations at maging mga rare secondary market stock mula sa mga modern Filipino masters tulad nina Fernando Amor Solo, Fernando Zobel, H.R. Ocampo, Vicente Manansala, Jose Hoya at Cesar Legaspi. Kasama rin sa koleksyon nito ang mga gawa ng local and foreign contemporary artists na kasalukuyang henerasyon na itinatanghal sa mga monthly art exhibitions na kadalasan ay may kasamang live performances, readings at musical events. Bukod dito, sinusuportahan din ng Galeria Duemila ang Art Historical Research and Scholarship sa pamamagitan ng paglimbag ng mga art books. Ito rin ang nag-iisang local gallery na nagsasagawa ng malawakang pagsasaliksik upang pasimulan ang artist's retrospective exhibitions. Katulad ng exhibit ni Julie Liush sa CCP noong 2008 at ni Dudley Diaz sa Vargas Museum noong 2009. Kalahok din ang Galeria Duemila sa exhibit ng yumaong visual artist na si Pasita Abad sa CCP noong 2008. 2004, bukod sa pagtulong sa NCCA at USD Museum para sa documentation at exhibition ng mga gawa ni Francesco Ricardo Monti noong 2005. Alamin natin kung ano ang lihim ng pagpapatakbo ng isang matagumpay na art gallery. Kasama ang founder at artistic director ng Galeria Duemila na si Miss Silvana Ancelotti Diaz. Kasama po natin ang founder at artistic director ng Galeria Duemila na si Miss Silvana Ancelotti Diaz. Good afternoon, Silvana, and Good welcome to Art Lisa. to Art. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, you are Italian. I am Italian. Yes, that's so correct. Don't worry, our interview will be in not Italian, in English. Okay. Yeah. Um, can you first tell us uh, when you became interested in the visual arts? Well, the visual arts has been interested from young age, from mm -hmm. Italian, because of my mother, who you used to be very passionate in buying uh, antiques, mm -hmm. and so every time she will uh, she will go to buy something for herself. Remember, mm -hmm. I was born after the war, and so there was still reconstruction in Italy. A lot of things were damaged. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, she will look at the object and she will contemplate and tell me story of the different design and peculiarity. So from there, 
from her way of examining the object, mm. I started also to observe particular. Mm. Then I had another uncle who was extremely very, very well cultured mm. in the arts, mm. in literature, in history, mm -hmm. and he had no children. Mm -hmm. And so with my uncle and my auntie, we will uh, pass one month a year together and he will bring me to museum. Mm -hmm. And there was always, he was French and I was Italian, although his descendant was also Italian, but mm -hmm. he was very strong French nationality, mm -hmm. and I was very much Italian. Mm -hmm. And so there was always this fight of history, of course, mm -hmm. he was great knowledge. Mm -hmm. But I put it upon myself to read a lot. And uh, when he will go to museum, he will, uh, you know, very good in detail, the history mm -hmm. of the different historical monuments. Mm -hmm. But I think also our Italian education give us, bring us to museum and give us a great, we have a humanistic, a very high humanistic uh, uh, way education. Mm. So this uh, very individualistic and a lot of argument and uh, discussion. Mm -hmm. So we are brought in reading and in uh, uh, looking at museum and object, a much deeper way of analysis of our own history. Mm -hmm. It makes you proud mm -hmm. of your ancestors yes. through mm -hmm. what the education mm -hmm. tells you in the seven arts, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. only in the visual art, mm -hmm. but in all the arts. Oh, so nice. make us a very complete Mm -hmm. human being in a spiritual mm -hmm. and intellectual sense. Mm -hmm. And you were a practicing artist yourself? No, no. Mm -hmm. I never practiced art. Mm -hmm. No. So you I never went to theater. Or... I did some, yeah, when I took modern art mm -hmm. in, uh, in Nottingham University, I did some, yes, it was part of a drawing. In Italy, you do your drawing, mm -hmm. but nothing, nothing in fine arts. I mm -hmm. never took fine arts, mm -hmm. never, because my objective was more to be a parliamentary interpreter, mm -hmm. simultaneous interpretation. Mm -hmm. So I studied 11 years of French and 8 years of English mm -hmm. and uh, secondary languages. So at that time, my interest was really to travel mm -hmm. and to work with politician mm -hmm. into history because I was very much passionate about history. Mm -hmm. And then I was a fly stewardess. I didn't want to work with my father. Mm. My sister Graziella took over my role mm -hmm. and unwillingly, but she <laughs> did. And then uh, I, um, I start working because I studied three years in England also, mm -hmm. in London and in Nottingham. And then uh, I worked for Alitalian airline. I was in Asia, in Africa, all around the world. So mm -hmm. at the age of 21, I was really traveling all around mm -hmm. the world because I wanted to have long distance flight, stay based outside so mm -hmm. I could see as much as I can. Mm -hmm. And I met my husband here the mm -hmm. first day because of the art, ah. because everywhere I go, uh -huh. I will go to museum. I want to be aware of a culture of a country. Yeah. Who are the people? Mm -hmm. Who are their, uh, you know, because each country has, has great creativity, mm -hmm. especially even from the, from the antiquity to the early uh, minority group, you know, to mm -hmm. the contemporary. So, so you met your husband in Manila, a Philippine museum? No. At uh, the time, there was not so many museums. At the uh -huh. time, there, were, there was only the Ayala Museum mm. uh, when I came here. I came here in 1970. Mm -hmm. And then I married Ramon in 71. Mm. So there was Ayala Museum that I saw. There was nothing else. Mm. And then the antique store. Yeah, we will go around uh, uh, all the antique store mm -hmm. in uh, MH Del Pilar, mm -hmm. Mabini. Mm -hmm where there were all these great stores. Mm -hmm. Then Baguio, there were a lot of uh, antique stores. Mm -hmm. there. So ah, there was a gallery the, in Hilton Hotel. Uh -huh. So did all the traveling bring you into art dealing? Or no, how no, did you no, get no. interested into art dealing? Art dealing it came very um, as a chance because my sister-in-law, mm -hmm. Isabel Diaz, that is the sister of Gloria Diaz, mm -hmm. uh, is an artist. Mm -hmm. And she lived in New York. Mm -hmm. And she was just commissioned by the United Nations to make the calendar of the year, mm -hmm. population explosion. Ah. And it was very funny because she comes from a family of population explosion. Uh -huh. Well, there are 12 children, as uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. 10 girls and two boys. Uh -huh. So she made this calendar and uh, Ramon 
told her, I don't understand why you don't exhibit in your own country. Mm. You exhibit in America, but you don't exhibit here. Mm. So it was decided that I will look for a gallery. Mm -hmm. She was coming home. Mm. And uh, because of all the painting that she did for this calendar and other things, and the beautiful thing, it was she chose her sister as a model for this calendar mm -hmm. for the United Nations. Because at the time, also models cost a lot. Mm -hmm. And so her sister happened always to travel around. And so they were there. Mm -hmm. And so I was uh, asked to prepare this exhibit. Mm -hmm. I contacted many galleries, but at the time, because of the short span of time given to me in the research, mm -hmm. all galleries are really already booked. Mm -hmm. So, but Galleria um, uh, Mila Day Art Center mm -hmm. had a space, an mm -hmm. opening, mm -hmm. and so I, they accepted the exhibition. Mm. The curator, the art director of uh, Mila Dei Art Center was Lino Severino, mm -hmm. and uh, the owner was uh, uh, um, Mila, Mila Dairit, mm -hmm. with Joe Dairit. Yes. Uh -huh. And uh, Lino Severino was the industrial partner. Mm. But Mr. Lino Severino was a painter, mm -hmm. and he was a painter that maybe you, maybe you remember, he used to do this ancestral housing mm -hmm. from Silais, mm -hmm. because he's Silais, mm -hmm. based in Silais. Mm -hmm. And so he brought back in a contemporary way the vision of the revival, because they mm -hmm. were already getting damaged and forgotten. Mm -hmm. so, and in the same time, he was a pilot mm -hmm. of uh, Philippine National Bank. Mm -hmm. So in this way, he had multiple jobs, and he was traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. So when I went there for the exhibit, uh, somehow, because he was absent very often, I ended up uh, practically putting up the exhibit. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, because of the connection of my father-in-law and Gloria and everybody, it was actually a successful show. It was mm -hmm. sold out mm -hmm. completely. Mm -hmm. But she's also fantastic, mm -hmm. Isabel Diaz, not mm -hmm. only because of connection, but because of, course, of her of great art. Mm -hmm. And so the owner mm -hmm. liked very much what uh, the way I dealt, I exhibited, the way I dealt with the public, and he asked me if I wanted to work for that. Mm -hmm. At the time, in 81, uh, in uh, 74, I had one child, mm -hmm. Ilak, mm -hmm. and I didn't know anything about Philippine art. I used to work for my embassy as a trade mission, interpreter, and diplomatic mission. Mm -hmm. So when there are these... Uh, but never in the art. I didn't know, know anybody. Mm -hmm. And so I said, well, I can start. Mm. I can try. Six mm -hmm. months, let's see. Mm -hmm. I was going into a world that was of my liking, mm -hmm. but completely unknown, mm -hmm. also the language. Mm -hmm. And then he said, no. I met immediately Oni Bolmedo, mm -hmm. Tiny Nuida, mm -hmm. Rudy Samonte, mm -hmm. and then, of course, Cesar Legaspi, that they brought me into into the Saturday group. Mm, mm -hmm. And I spent really all my time with the artist. Mm -hmm. Well, people were accusing me why I don't stay with the client. Mm. But you know, uh, at my point of view, mm. being a foreigner, mm -hmm. being not from here, mm. I have to immerse myself into the knowledge mm. of the vision of the mm. artist to learn, because mm -hmm. I did not know anything about so Philippines. So did you know what you were going to sell? Uh, not so much for sale. Sale has never been my point. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, sale has been always a secondary point. Mm -hmm. I never even consider it, to tell you the truth. Oh, even really? today, I never uh -huh. consider selling. Uh -huh. It has to be an absolutely pleasure mm -hmm. of mine mm -hmm. to see the creation of the artist. Because mm -hmm. I put up show that... Uh, even my uh, aim, um, you know, art in management will teach me not to enter into it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But because uh, the artist is so beautiful mm -hmm. and their art is so fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I let myself believe in my guts, in mm -hmm. my feeling, in my passion, in my... Mm -hmm. this, there is a certain happiness, a mm -hmm. complete happiness mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. That is immeasurable. Mm -hmm. And so that f makes me choose and go into the art mm -hmm. and knowing more and more and more about the artist. Mm -hmm. Money, thank God, <laughs> it came. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. it's there. Not that much. Sometimes you have, sometimes you don't have. Mm -hmm. But 
money is not that important mm. to me. Mm -hmm. Well, thank God my husband also, mm -hmm. uh, you know, earns and everything. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's really, you know, it's the art itself. Mm -hmm. Because and I hate... now that continues to be the Absolutely. standard and more policy and more of, and more of and Galeria more. Due Emila. Yeah, more yeah. and more. Because I mm. get very much to understand and love the greatness of the art of the Filipino people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They are great. Mm -hmm. They are an unbelievable, endless source of uh, geniuses and uh, great people. Mm -hmm. In the world of art, there are a lot of people that are nameless, but they are great, great, uh, you know, pers uh, persevere in the support, mm -hmm. in the maintenance, in the saving of the arts. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that uh, being married to Filipino, having Filipino children, mm -hmm. And being a citizen of the world, mm. I've been, uh, thank God, living in this country that has given me a lot of happiness. Yeah. I should, this is my, it's not a duty, huh? it's part of my, of my proud. Of your person. Oh, yeah, yeah. To, to. I cannot agree with you more. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan tungkol sa Galeria Duemila kasama ang founder nito na si Miss Silvana Diaz dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar sa pelikula bilang pagdiriwang ng 125th anniversary ng Letter to the Young Women of Malolos ni Jose Rizal, iniahandog ng Women of Malolos Foundation Incorporated, Basilia Committee at Kino Arts, ang isang musical docudrama batay sa grupong ito ng mga kababaihan. Pinamagatang Ang Kababaihan ng Malolos. Ang libreng pagtatanghal ay mapapanood sa February 17, alas 5 ng hapon sa UP Cine Adarna, UP Diliman, Quezon City. Magkakaroon naman ng open forum matapos ang screening sa February 20, alauna imedya hanggang alas 3 ng hapon sa Escalere Hall, Ateneo de Manila University. Ang docudrama ay sulat at produksyon ni Dr. Nick Yongson sa direksyon ni Nasari Dalena at Kiri Dalena. Kasalukuyan namang tinatanggap ang mga entries sa short feature category ng 2014 Cinemalaya Independent Film Festival and Competition. Maaaring mag-submit hanggang February 28 alas 6 ng gabi sa Media Arts Division ng Cultural Center of the Philippines Ross Boulevard, Pasay City. Ang final work ay dapat na nasa DVD format at may label kung saan nakasulat ang pamagat, production company, address at contact numbers, production date, pangalan ng director at running time. Ang entry ay dapat na may kalakip na kumpletong application form, sinop sa Filipino o English at biodata at dalawang 2x2 na larawan ng filmmaker. Para sa kumpletong detalye, bumisita sa website na culturalcenter.gov.ph o tumawag sa 832-1125, local 1704. Sa musika, mapapanood ang Himagsikan 2014. Mga libreng pagtatanghal sa Carillion Plaza, UP Diliman, Quezon City sa lahat ng linggo ng Pebrero tuwing alas 5 ng hapon. Matapos ang palabas ng Camerata Jazz noong February 2, mapapanood naman ngayong araw ang UP Tugma na susundan naman ng Maroon Bench Jam kasama ang UP FM sa February 16 at ng Katutubo Fusion kasama ang Contragapi sa February 23. Samantala, mapapanood Papanood naman ang libreng pagtatanghal ng Amore 4, Love Songs from Around the World. Sa February 16, alas 6 ng gabi sa may Lapu-Lapu Monument sa Rizal Park, Manila. Tampok ang barito na si Jose Leo Logdat, kasama si lyric soprano Maribel Miguel Araraw at mga soprano sina Sheila Manga, Gaile Chaiza, Norombaba at Gabri Panlilio. Kabilang din sa programa ang musical director na si Dr. Raul Casantusan Navarro at iba pang instrumentalists. Fall in love all over again with Heart to Heart featuring Ballet Manila and London's newest musical sensation, The West End Mamas and Papas. Love, love changes everything. Enjoy unforgettable melodies from theater and movies, as well as classics in music and dance, perfect for the season of love. Love, love changes everything. 
Heart to Heart with Ballet Manila and the West End Mamas and Papas goes on stage on February 21 and on March 1 at the Alio Theater. Directed by Roxanne Lapus and with a very special participation of prima ballerina Lisa Makuha Elizade. Call Ticket World at 891-9999 or ticketworld.com.ph. Heart to Heart is presented by Ballet Manila, Alio Theater, and the Manila Broadcasting Company with Shield Bath Soap, First United Travel, Sea Air, special thanks to Island Rose, Ralph's Wines and Spirits, and Star City. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balirina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang founder ng Galeria Duemila na si Ms. Silvana Diaz. Um, Silvana, Galeria Duemila meaning 20th century, is that why you decided to focus on Filipino artists and modern art? No. Uh, the name 20th century is uh, the period of where we are born. Mm -hmm. And I always like contemporary art. Mm -hmm. Contemporary is today. Mm -hmm. So the today art is an art that, uh, that uh, demonstrates the feeling of what surrounds us, mm -hmm. the new evolution. Mm -hmm. Today is the computer. Mm -hmm as today. Mm -hmm. At the time, we have the great modernists, mm -hmm. Cesare Gaspi, but in Europe, we have even, you have, uh, you know, you have uh, Picasso, mm -hmm. you have Mark Rothko, you have uh, uh, Pollock, mm -hmm. you have all these great artists that, for me, has a new dynamic. Mm -hmm. So 20th century represents the new vision of the modern era, cement, mm. glass, mm -hmm. metal, you know, a completely revolutionary way mm -hmm. of interpreting art. Mm -hmm. And that was, stands for mm -hmm. new vision, new energy, new way of creativity, even mm -hmm. in the hands, Martha Graham, mm -hmm. you know, all this new visionary, mm -hmm. the way of dancing, the way interpreting, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. C uh, can you explain technically, I know what the difference between contemporary dance and modern dance, but what's the difference between contemporary art and modern art? Nothing. It's the Not same. Uh -huh. It's the same. Contemporary, it means now. Mm. It's now. Even Cesar Legaspi, who, when he was in his time, is a contemporary. Mm -hmm. Because when you say contemporary, people have the misunderstanding. Abstract, mm. it means an abstract concept. See, that, that's but the modern, modern is modern because it is uh, a new thing. Mm. But contemporary and modern is the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, people have a completely different understanding. When but they what say was contemporary art in 1950 or in well, 1960, then it's a modern is modern not contemporary. No, if yeah. the artist is dead. Uh -huh. okay. If the artist is dead, but mm. if the artist is still alive, mm. even if uh, maybe what they want to interpret it is, uh, is the new current. Mm. new fashion, mm. but in truth, the word itself, contemporary, mm. is the moment you're mm -hmm. living. Mm -hmm. So if the artist is still alive, mm -hmm. even if you have a classical art, mm -hmm. it's still a contemporary. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's the stylistic approach mm -hmm. that has to be well understood. I see. You see? So who are the artists now that best represent the contemporary art scene of Manila that you... Uh, uh, that you exhibit in a Galleria Duemila? Well, we, we exhibit a Galleria Duemila. The majority of the artists that we represent really are uh, a professional that has already 20, 10, 20, 30 years already activity. Mm -hmm. They are not really, except for the exhibit that I have at this moment mm -hmm. going on, that are artists from UP not yet uh, graduate, mm -hmm. but this is a pre-graduation mm -hmm. uh, that I thought that Galleria Duemila will start a new trend mm -hmm. uh, to, to implement every new month of the year in January uh, artists that come from this uh, to give them also a sense of uh, excitement. A wonderful opportunity them. for our young yes, artists. Yes, yes, yeah. because mm -hmm. as a, uh, the galleries and now gallery with name mm. and also we have demonstrated through all this year that we have been constant and with our vision and our commitment mm. so 
I have decided that uh, there will be this change. Mm. Otherwise, we exhibit artists that are already really uh, uh, stable, mm -hmm. artists that has already that are uh, on the mid mm -hmm. mid career, that are on their 40, 50. Can you mention 60. a few names? Yes, yeah. of course, of course. We have uh, Tiny Nuida, we have mm -hmm. Luan, we have our M. De Leon, Trex mm -hmm. Valdisno, we have, uh, um, we have Feli Bacolor, mm -hmm. we had, well, an old one, but still unbelievable young, is uh, Jung Yi. Mm -hmm. We have, uh, well, Manuel Ocampo, we exhibit his work, mm -hmm. Jerry Tan. Uh, so mm -hmm. this Maria Cruz, mm -hmm. Roberto Robles. So mm -hmm. we have many, many artists who has, mm -hmm. uh, who has exhibited with us. Mm -hmm. Or Solina mm -hmm. Chani, a surrealist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, an ordinary person not exposed to the arts goes into the gallery and uh, says, I want to buy a painting, um, but I don't know what to buy? What do you do to help this person get the painting that well, it is suit? necessary for me to understand uh, the the inner vision that he has, mm -hmm. because I can. So I have album and pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to know many things. I need mm -hmm. to know the budget. Mm -hmm. I need to know what kind of education he has. Mm -hmm. Uh, if he has, uh, you know, uh, if he has been around museum, mm -hmm. if he has a preference, mm -hmm. because there has to be a visual preference. Mm -hmm. And then from there, when I start to understand this person, mm -hmm. understanding and what he wants, mm -hmm. then, I f then I focus in certain painting. Mm -hmm. So I show him sample. Mm -hmm. For sure, a person like this that you are describing is a person that is really more on... Uh, uh, figurative, mm. Mm -hmm. figurative, abstract, but I will show also something. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have to understand very well what he wants, mm. Mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, this person lives with the painting. Mm -hmm. And so it's very important that when he has this painting in his house, mm -hmm. he understands it, he's sure of what he bought, mm -hmm. because uh, many people that are not in the art, they may mm -hmm. say, oh, but look, she made you bought something just because she wanted to sell it yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, I will, uh, as much as possible, I will tell him who is the artist, mm -hmm. what he has done, mm -hmm. and all of this. So yeah. I will impart a brief, mm -hmm. a brief history mm -hmm. of the artist, mm -hmm. of his style, mm -hmm. and everything that surrounds mm -hmm. the artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, Knowledge how, is everything. Yeah. Huh? Uh -huh. Speaking of budget, how do you put a price on a work of art? No, we are not the one really to put a price the on artist. work of art. It's the artist to put okay. a price. Actually, mm -hmm. many times uh, we bargain with the artist to mm. put even lower. Mm. Because, you know, the, the, the country has been through a lot of crises, mm -hmm. up and down, mm. up and down, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Yes. So, uh, when there was great crisis, the painting, you know, we are the last mm. to be acquired. Mm. And, uh, or they acquire because uh, poor people will not acquire art. Mm. Mm -hmm. But they could mm -hmm. really surround themselves with art. Mm. Because today, with posters, with uh, Instagram, even before, with poster, <laughs> you know. Galeria Due Mila has Instagram account. We are trying, not yet, <laughs> not yet. We have... But uh, you have a website. We have a website, okay. we are in Facebook, uh -huh. we are in Twitter. Uh -huh. And you know, I try to get myself young people, because they are the... I do you also have branches in the malls? No, we no. used to have. Mm -hmm. We stayed for 13 years in the mall. Mm. Because at the time, Mega Mall, uh, uh, the vision was great. Mm. Uh, Filipino are, were not knowledgeable what was a gallery, not what was a museum. Mm. So for us to be where the people, and also Megamola loved it at the time, mm -hmm. because any, any uh, layer of society will, would go. Will go. Yeah. So this, you start in part, is a tremendous aesthetic. Mm. And I always believe that the greatness of uh, any country and the genius come out when 
from the cheap, from the from the youngest, from the poorest, mm. actually more mm -hmm. to the to the higher. Mm -hmm. But the middle class of the poor, I think, they have so much dreams mm -hmm. that you can and they being able to see mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. and be able to. I had children that will go inside the gallery and mm -hmm. will understand the painting faster than their mother, <laughs> you see, in modern art. So, you know, he said, I can do that. And then you take a piece of uh -huh. paper and they will, uh, you know, uh -huh. they will sketch. Okay. And so that's what are the qualities of a serious art collector as opposed to uh, someone who just wants knowledge. to buy to display? Knowledge, knowledge. Ah. Everything is knowledge because a serious art collector that is a serious collector mm. in the love of art. Mm -hmm. uh, not, a, not somebody who is a speculator. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. today we have a lot of speculators. Mm -hmm. Today we have a lot of fake. Uh -huh. Today we have a lot of problems in the arts. Mm -hmm. uh, because today is starting to generate so is a that lot the, of money. Is that the greatest challenge for a gallery owner as yourself? Uh, the fakes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because today, the, the people that are faking the painting are becoming better and better and better. Mm. And, they, uh, and there is not a, a catalog raisonné of the artists. There mm. are not enough, let us say, my generation and the artists of my generation that has known uh, H.R. Ocampo, that has known Legaspi, mm. Anchioco, Maranzala, mm -hmm. all of these great masters mm -hmm. that are really a just dead, mm. just died. Mm -hmm. uh, when we died, I think it would be even harder. Mm. And unfortunately, the National Museum, mm. the NCCA, are mm. not taking a lead role. Mm. Because you see, I believe that if the National Museum that is empowered by the country to protect the arts, mm. With the, with the CCP and the National Museum especially, mm. they have the moral duty to preserve the memory and the arts of this national artist mm -hmm. that they have chosen. Mm. And instead it's lacking. Mm. And also in the historical monument, mm. the National Historical Commission, mm. Madame Diokno, mm. I think she's remissive of her duty she had destroyed monuments that she should have kept. Mm -hmm. As she say, she's an historical figure. Mm -hmm. I am extremely mm -hmm. enraged mm -hmm. by what Mrs. Diocco is damaging the history of the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think <laughs> the, we should put in the NCCA people like you who genuinely love the art. No, no, me, I'm a foreigner <laughs> and I don't want to be in any role of uh, no Filipino. But you genuinely love the Filipino yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have great, great, great people that are uh, like me, in love, and uh, uh, and they are really sacrificing hours and hours and hours mm. for the protection of the art, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, you know history has been destroyed. Mm. History has been falsificated. Mm -hmm. History has been uh, camouflaged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have to make sure that the next generation, mm -hmm. if we are responsible dealer, mm -hmm. if we are responsible of what our engagement has taken us. Mm -hmm. Like me, I feel responsible because I was good friend of all these great artists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have a duty inside me yeah. to preserve their memory, yeah. mm -hmm. not to show that rubbish mm. is being passed over for their great work of yes. art. Yes. Uh -huh. And I believe that we are here, the government has to put in power mm. people mm -hmm. that will preserve the history mm -hmm. and not just because developers mm. want to destroy. Yeah. Like now, the Capitol Theater, mm. they want to destroy San mm -hmm. Marcelino. Many McDonald, have been, McDonald yeah. mm -hmm. took over nine meter. There was a monument nine meter high by six by Riccardo Francesco Molti. Mm. They drill it out. Mm. They destroyed it. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. And the school in front, Adamson, mm -hmm. has not found upon himself being, a, being an institution mm -hmm. of culture. Mm -hmm. Did not stand up. If I was. Mm in Adamson mm -hmm. as a director, mm -hmm. I would have made the strike of all the students to protest the destruction of this monument. Sana nakikinig sa atin ngayon ang uh, NCCA, <laughs> ang CCP, 
uh, at ang gobyerno. <laughs> okay, very briefly, what can we expect from Galeria Duemila um, uh, in this month? It's February. In this month, well, February, there is to be, I would like to invite all of you to, to the fair that is going to be in the link. Mm -hmm. It is uh, Philippine Contemporary Art. Mm -hmm. And it is from the 20th to the 24th of February. Mm -hmm. There are more than 30 galleries be represented. They are all the top contemporary art in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really a fantastic project. And Galeria du Emila, Galeria du Emila is, located is uh, 210 uh -huh. Loring Street, Pasay City. Mm -hmm. And I would like to make an appeal our barangay captain and our mayor does not keep our street clean, clean and in order, but full of jeepney and uh, illegal okay. settlers. So, so giving us a lot of problems. Makinig po ang barangay ng Pasay City, <laughs> ang Pasay City Mr. Mayor. Mr. Cardano, oh. please. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, your husband's exhibit on mythical horses? Yes, my husband will have an exhibit on the, two, on the 30th at New World Hotel, uh -huh. with uh, myth is, is entitled Mythical Horses. Mm -hmm. And she, he is uh, very much in love with everything that is Oriental. Mm -hmm. So being the year of the horse, or mm -hmm. the wooden horse, mm -hmm. he has created the uh, 15 paintings that are all uh, of different aspects of Tan Wan dynasty. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also a beautiful three-dimension painting of the Acropolis in uh, Greece mm -hmm. uh, with Pegasus mm -hmm. wow, that fantastic. flies. So, new dream. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so very much, Ms. Thank Silvana, you. for coming on our show, being our guest in Art to Art. Of course, more power to uh, Galeria Duemila. And, uh, sana po, may your disciples increase. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. We have a tremendous number of new artists, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. passionate in their job. Mabuhay yeah. po kayo. Thank you. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa Artistang Pilipino.